In this video, I'm going to give an introduction to flowcharts and algorithms. Now, an algorithm is a set of logical steps to solve a problem. For example, let's say we wanted to uh, change a light bulb in the room. So maybe a set, a set of steps to do that uh, task would be as follows. Number one, I could go get a ladder. Then I could go get a light bulb. Then I could bring the ladder to the room, climb the ladder, unscrew the, the bad light bulb, screw in the good light bulb, climb down the ladder, put the ladder away. So an algorithm just lists an organized set of um, steps to solve a problem. Now a flowchart is a graphical tool that lets us visualize an algorithm. It is a tool that allows us to organize our algorithm's um, flow and visualize it. Some of the basic flowchart blocks that we know how to implement so far are as follows. An oval represents the start or end of an algorithm. The parallelogram here represents an input or an output. How do I get data in and data out? And then finally, a rectangle represents some type of work or calculation being done. Now there are other basic flowchart blocks, but these are the ones that we know how to implement so far. For example, to implement an input or an output, an input statement can be uh, implemented in C-sharp using a read line command, an output can be implemented using a write line command. To implement some type of work or calculation, maybe we will build an algebraic expression. Let's look at an example. Let's say we are to create a program that calculates and displays the cost to carpet a room. The cost calculation has a formula that's given here based on a length and width value, where the length and width are dimensions of the room. So how might we design an algorithm to solve this problem? Well, I have an example here. Before we can calculate the cost, we need to get the length and width values from the user. And the way we get data from the user is by creating a prompt. And a prompt it has a output component where we tell the user what to enter and an input compo component where we actually read in the user value. So let's see how this might look in a flowchart. I have an oval here that tells me that I'm going to start my application, start my algorithm. Then comes our first prompt for length. I have an output statement that tells the user please enter length and then an input statement that allows me to read in the user's response. Next, I'm going to have an output statement telling the user to enter in a width value, and then I will, I will follow that up with a reading in their response. Once I finally have the length and width values, I can calculate the cost, and once I have the cost calculated, I can output the cost, and then we are done. Now, this algorithm represents the solution, or a solution, to this problem. It is not the only solution, but it is one solution. And the flowchart helps us visualize that solution. Now, how might we implement this solution in a language? Well, in C sharp, the way we implement output statements is using the write line method. And the way we get input from the user is by calling the read line method. So a prompt might be a write line followed by a read line. My second prompt has a write line followed by a read line. My cost calculation is going to be some algebraic expression here where I use the values that I've just read in. And then finally, I can use a right line statement to display the cost. So the programming part is the implementation of the algorithm. For example, let's look at how we might implement this in the Python language. Now Python doesn't have a right line statement or a read line statement but it has an equivalent. It has a print method and an input method. So if I were to implement this program in Python, I would use a print followed by an input, print followed by an input, calculate the cost using an algebraic expression, and then a print statement. So notice that once we have the algorithm, once we have the solution for the problem defined, implementing it in any language will be fairly trivial. Now, what happens if our algorithm requires a decision? For example, let's say that the air, if the area of the room was greater than 500 square feet, 
I wanted to apply a 10% discount to the carpet cost. Now we have a, a condition, or a, we have a situation where the program might apply a 10% discount in some cases and it might not in others. So we have a branching action that occurs. And as of now, we do not have the tools in C-sharp on how to implement this type of decision. In a flowchart, this decision block looks like a diamond. And that diamond is asking some type of question. Is the area greater than 500 feet, for example? And depending on whether this condition is true or false, our program will then branch into different paths. So we're, we are adding a, a branch operation to our algorithm. Now, currently, we do not know how to implement this. We do not know the syntax to implement this. But the following videos will discuss how we can implement this block.